today on Zoom. <laughs> I think I'm just another ordinary kid. Spread the peanut butter on the side of the bread. I'm out! I'm out! <laughs> Funding for Zoom is provided by the National Science Foundation, America's investment in the future, and the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by viewers like you. When I think of Zoom, I think of fast motion. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Flying free and like Superman. Rockets, Olympic runners, a motorcycle going like zoom. And I go like... <laughs> school program tried. It's how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Sounds easy, right? Well, watch. All right, Zoe, how do I make one of these? Okay, um, you take two slices of bread. <laughs> okay, now what do I do? Take the peanut butter, put some on the bread, and then you take some jelly, yep. put it on the other slice of bread, uh, okay. And then put them together so they're like a sandwich. Okay. And then take a big bite and enjoy. All right. You want to see my work? Okay. What? I, I, I took out two slices of bread <laughs> like you told me to. And then I put the peanut butter on one slice and the jelly on another. See, it's upside down because it was on the bread. And then I put them together. And that's my peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I'd like to see you try and eat it, Bam. <laughs> What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's the coolest thing about being a kid? The coolest thing about being a kid is that there's like no responsibilities. Not having to choose a girlfriend or get married. You don't have to worry about your job and your boss. You get to play a lot. The best thing about being a kid is lots of pizza and if you like get in trouble, you can blame it on your imaginary friend Bob. Today on Cafe Zoom, we're going to make a zebra cake sent to us by Ben G. of Medford, Massachusetts. What you'll need is some whipped topping and some chocolate wafers. The first thing you do is you lay down two sheets of plastic wrap because when you're all finished with your cake, you're going to wrap it up. Now, take your cookie and your whipped topping and spread some whipped topping on top of your cookie. And you keep on doing that until it reaches about 14 inches long. Makes like a log. Log. There you go. And you keep on stacking and stacking and stacking. 
if you want, you can make your own whipped cream if you don't feel like going to the store. If you know how to make it. There you go. It should look like this. When you're done stacking your cookies, it will look like this. Looks pretty good. Now you want to get it straight. And then you want to put like your whipped cream all on the sides. Try to use this. Like that. There. Then when you finish, you wrap it up. Like so. And then you bring in the other side. Wrap it up one more. Once you have it wrapped, then you put it into the freezer for four to six hours. And then you take it out and you thaw it for an hour in the refrigerator. And it should look like this. Looks good. There you go. Cut it in an angle, like this. Look at that. Ooh. If it's too hard for you to cut, you should ask someone to help you. See the stripes? Now it looks like a zebra. Mm-hmm. Let's try it. Which one do I want? Well, Jared, I think I can solve your problem. Good. All right. You have a knife, right? Yes. Stick it in the peanut butter. All right, now take off the knife. Okay. Uh, the peanut butter that's on the knife, you're going to spread it on the side. Ah. You got that? Hold on. I got to get... Uh, here we go. Got it? Got it. Okay. Uh, you have jelly, right? I certainly do. Get your knife again. And put it in the jelly. <sighs> what are you doing? I'm putting it in the jelly. Okay, now what do I do? Does the knife have jelly? It certainly does. Spread the jelly on the bed, on the bread. <laughs> the, 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 the jelly on the knife. The jelly on the knife is on the bread. Jelly on the knife. Now take your other piece of bread. Okay. And put it together with the, the like this. Okay. Well, take a piece, one piece. Got it. All right. And you have the other piece that you put the peanut butter and the jelly on, right? Yeah. All right, now put them together. And what do you get? Peanut butter sandwich. Got it. All right, check it out. Oh. My name is Erin Carter. I wanted to be a singer, singer since I was very, very little. First thing I did is I asked my mom, and she said, I'll take you to lessons, so she started taking me to lessons. My music is mostly for girls, because I like singing to girls. You never see any screaming girls screaming at little ten-year-old kids, you know? <laughs> my favorite part is moving the fans and giving them my autograph. Nikki, how do you spell it? It's K-I-K-K-I. I just like doing it. I just like 
stop saying my name, doing it. Go on. Bus and come here. My mom comes on tour with me. I just say garlic. Ah, I feel like I'm at home. This is my bunk. Practically nothing in it. But this is where I sleep when I feel like it. Uh, I horse around like other kids do. Animal confused. I jump up and down like other kids do. Woo! I I think I'm I'm, I'm just another ordinary kid. When I'm out on the road, I love to play football. Oh, Missy, you have a good show, right? Okay. You're going to do great. You always do. It's my boy. I love this job so much, and I'm, I'm always going to be doing this all my life. Massachusetts challenged us to make a car out of three straws, four lifesavers, one piece of paper, two paper clips, and some tape, and race them. Here's the catch. We could only blow on them to make them move. All right. Maybe we could have a straw on the back and fold it so that when you blow, watch. Like a sailboat. Right, we so made the base of the wheels. wheels so they can go wee. They, they don't really move. I know, that's what I'm saying. See, they don't roll. That's because you don't have them in the right. Wait, let's just start Okay, over. let's do something else. So when we have wheels, it'll go. Wait, hold on. The air is bouncing back out this way. That's why it's not moving. It bounces back at your face. The air. All right, well, let's make the wheels, and then we'll fix... We'll just cut a tip off, rip it. And that would do... What? The air would go through, so there'd be a flowing motion. Actually, I don't think so. Okay, well, let's... This is... Cause that's like blowing through a straw. Exactly. So then the air is just going to go out the end, and it's not going to do anything. We could tie it together with, um... Paper clips. Why do we need to tie it together? Because then it kind of would go, like... Two different directions, I think. See? And bend this a little so you can. And then tape it like this. Oh, oh. Not long enough. Not long enough. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, as a windbreaker. Like. Oh, yeah. It's like a sail. We can use it as a sail. Oh, and this can be the mast. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, no. Wait. <laughs> no, we need this to blow. We don't need it to blow. It'll be better. It'll be a better blower. No, it won't. It will, then it will be, there will only be a little air coming out. But if we do it with okay, a whole thing. I be, don't see why we need, like, a mask. Because how is that going to stay there? Tape. No, but look, if we go like this, and we tape it on, and then we have it like that. Oh, wicked good idea. Hello. Yep. Yep, yep. Ta-da! The Jared and Keiko sailboat is done, and the mast isn't sticking. Just use some more tape. All right, ready? Oh. Tape it down. You gotta turn it. Tur just turn this. Turn what? The this. <laughs> <laughs> Watch! Look, it moves a little. <laughs> Do you think the lifesavers are weighing it down a little so it can't like glide? I guess not. No, but look, I mean, like, <laughs> see, it just, it just blows over. It doesn't glide. Yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. We should put some weight here. Or, you know what? Um, oops. What if we put some tape around the lifesavers so it's smooth instead of sticky? Oh, that's a good idea. A little piece at a time. We're going to be here all day. <laughs> oh. Well, it's only, the, the lifesavers aren't going to turn. So, you only have to put it on the bottom. Like, whenever we blow it, it goes yeah. like this? Yeah. What if we connected tape from this, this to here? 
What would that do? Sure, hold on one minute. You had one right here and oh. one right here, so doesn't, it doesn't fall back. Flop. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let's just try it like this. Okay. Okay, you guys are both ready to start, right? Yep. On your mark, get set, go. <laughs> No, no, you, you don't have to do that. Keep it, leave it. Because the lifesaver wheels of our car stuck to the floor, we really had to blow with a lot of force to make the car move. By blowing so hard, we also made the car tip over. But if we built the sails closer to the body of the car, the weight would have been lower and the car wouldn't have tipped over so easily. Try putting more weight on the body of the car when you make one at home. Josh H. nominated Hector L. of Patterson, New Jersey for today's Zuma Cum Laude. Hector ran a petition to keep the libraries in his city open longer so the kids could use them when they needed to. Congratulations, Hector. You'll be receiving your Zuma Cum Laude certificate in the mail. Congratulations! Hey, Lenise. Huh? Could you tell me how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Sure. Take your two pieces of bread and spread them open on the table, right? Spread them open or just put them on the table? Put them on the table. <laughs> then you take your peanut butter and you spread it on one piece of bread. And then you take your jelly and spread it on the other piece of the bread. Okay. <sighs> All right, now what do I do? Then you take your two pieces and put them together. <laughs> All right. How does it look? <laughs> Zoom tail. What do I want to be when I grow up? Written and illustrated by Lachelle M. of Virginia Beach, Virginia. What do I want to be when I grow up? That's the question that popped into my mind one sunny afternoon. I imagine myself as a teacher, but I will be writing the whole day. Blah, I don't want to do that. Maybe I'll be the person who wraps gifts, but I might get stuck in yards of tape. How about becoming a fashion model? Nah, that's not good because everybody will be after me. That's not fun at all. Babysitting seems to be good, but the babies will drive me crazy. It can be dangerous, too, if you're not careful, you know. The military life, like my dad, is not at all for me. Leaving my family every time is just too sad for everybody. It's easy for other kids to know what they want to be when they grow up. For me, it's tough. There's so much responsibilities involved, and there are so many to choose from. It is very confusing. All this thinking is making me sleepy and hungry. Well, I guess I'll be the best person I can be, and maybe an artist, too, for now. The end. Hey, David. Yep? I bet I can make you say black. Sure. Okay, what are the colors of the American flag? Red, white, and blue. I told you I can make say blue. I thought you said black. Gotcha. You said black. Oh. I got him. I got him. I got him. Zoom. Chat. Zoom. Chat. Zoom. Chat. Guys, if I had the power to, to make the world a better place, um, let's see, I would, well, first I would handle the pollution. Yeah. Um, major problem. Um, Big recycling bin. Patch up the ozone layer. Yeah, like, Oh, yes. Um, yeah. I would just see if everyone, you know, at least can help pick up some stuff mm -hmm. instead of just dropping it on the street and I stuff. Did, I did that once. Me and my, my grandmother and my brother, we took, a, like, three trash bags. We went down my street and picked up every Good. little tiny piece of trash. Good. First of all, I would make everybody be, you know, peaceful, but not, like, corny, like, you know, nice, but they'd still have, like, a sense of humor, and they could, like, you know, like, tease. Good teasing. Good teasing. Good yeah. teasing. And, hold on a minute. Now we, and everything, and the pollution would be gone. Yeah. Well, you can't just snap the fingers and everything is just bad. Excuse me, I, I had the power. vacuum and suck up all the pollution. 
You know what, I think yeah. I'd make this new kind of like steam or something, sorry, that would run trucks and cars. I think that, like, we should start using solar powered cars. And you know what else? Well, the first thing I would take care of is the violence and stuff. Right. I'm really not and all then, that concerned about that. And wars going on between, like, different countries, countries. countries and settle things like them. that. I mean, and, like, we would have better schools. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm, and then we think. have a better program for teaching people, for yeah. teaching kids about drugs and bad stuff. Violence yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, That's I also think the main issue. thing that needs to be patched up in the world is people. Yeah. Lots of you took us up on our challenge to build a cantilever that reached more than 66 centimeters from the table. That's really good, you guys. Good job. <laughs> Kids at the Kaleidoscope Summer Camp in Newton, Massachusetts, came up with some great designs using only straws and tape. Ruth, Jillian, and Sasha built a cantilever that they attached to the table in five places using tape. Ruth said that the tape weighed it down, so you had to use just a little bit of tape. It went out to 61 centimeters and came close to our record. Seth, Alex, and Yehuda built a triangle base. Yehuda said that triangles were the best shape to make a base since they were strongest and could support structures from all the sides. Their cantilever was shaped like an arch and beat ours. It went out to 203 centimeters. See if you can go even farther with your cantilever and tell us why you think it went out so far. Then send your results to Zoom. Okay, first of all, you take two slices of bread out of the bag. You have to open up the top of the bag and take them out with your hand. Okay. Okay. Then... Wait, 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 wait! Sorry. Then all you right. have to lay them down on the table. Okay. Now, open up the lid of the jar. And Which one? Of the peanut butter jar. And... Take your knife and dip it into the peanut butter. Uh -huh. Okay. Now spread the peanut butter on the side of the bread. Okay. Can do that. Okay. Now. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, all right. Sorry. Then you take your jar and you open up the lid of the jelly. Okay. No. Open up the lid of the jelly. And put the knife into the jar and pick up a slab of jelly. Ah! I... Open up the jar and put the knife into ah. the jelly. Okay. Okay, then take out the jelly and spread it on the side of the other bread. The piece you haven't used yet. Must be jelly because jam don't shake like that. <laughs> Ready? Uh-huh. Now, put your two pieces of bread together. Okay, are you done? Uh-huh. Okay, good. <laughs> what? You, you took out three slices. Oh, sorry. What the... <laughs> good job. Thanks. I did it on the side, see? <laughs> to us by Jonathan Kay of Cleveland, Ohio. It's easy to see how to play. Okay, guys. Did you notice you're the only one running around? You're 
you. Submissions become the property of Zoom and will be eligible for inclusion in all Zoom media. This means that we can share your ideas with other Zoomers on TV, the web, in print materials, and in other Zoom ways. So, send it to Zoom. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's, up? What's the coolest thing about being a kid? I think the coolest thing about being a kid is that you don't have to pay taxes and that you can play more than the grown-ups get to. You don't have to do many chores. When you're sick, you get to sleep in your mama's bed. There's no real responsibility. You can just do whatever you want, and you have parents that love you. It's just like a time to explore and see the world. Funding for Zoom is provided by the National Science Foundation. America's investment in the future. And the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. And by viewers like you. A production of WGBH Boston. <laughs>